How's it guys? I'm back with another one. This time we're talking about cricket. This past week we had Faf du Plessis being investigated, being under, in the media, you know, about his mint gate. If you haven't seen it, if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it's about, please check this out and then come back to this video and watch further. Now firstly, I'll explain what happened. Faf was shining the cricket ball, but as he was using saliva from his mouth, he was eating a mint or, or whatever he, he was having. Now for cricket players to play a test match, to be on the field uh, the whole day, you need, to, you need to take some sugar content, you need to be ready to, to be in the sun the whole day. So I think, you know, this has been happening, let's say for the, the past 10, 20 years, you know, players have had stuff in their mouth when, when even shining the ball or when on the field or whatever. So I, I personally think it's bullshit. This, <laughs> this whole thing is, is just a, a makeup for, uh, I don't know, maybe the Aussies are very sour against us. Maybe the Aussies are already mad at us for for whipping them on their, their home turf. Um, I don't know. It's just it's really sad to see that that something like this happens. It takes the shine away from South Africa having a good series down under, and uh, it just puts everything on on Faf. But I must say he has handled everything really well. Even if you see how he talks to the media and even the cricket. Yesterday, he scored over a hundred points, you know, it just shows that it doesn't bother him You know, he actually did nothing wrong. Let's say, come on, let's be honest. This is a really stupid rule Like it's been happening for years and like Faf even said If you don't see the sweet in the mouth, it's fine But now they see it and now now they want to make a story about it Want to go to the press, want to go to the ICC and you know, it's even worse is that they've taken away his game money for it. That is really bad. I mean, if you compare it to, to work or other real life uh, situations, it would be like me, you know, eating my pen at work. <laughs> I always hold my pen in my mouth when I'm working. So if my boss just comes to me and said, hey, you can't have your pen in your mouth, I'm taking away your salary this month because you're influencing some other thing, maybe the other workers. That is quite stupid. I mean, it, it's a cock rule. We don't want to see this on cricket and we don't want to see this from Australia bringing it out. I need to give a thumbs up to Nahashim Namla and the rest of the team, by the way, for standing up for Faf. You know, uh, check this video out from Nashim as he gets nailed by the press. You know, I think they being, uh, uh, I think they're being hard, but you know, Nashim, he, he kept cool, I think. So yeah, well done to the boys. And good luck for the rest of your, your games. Uh, I hope it goes well. And keep your sweets away from the camera. And uh, have a good one.